Hi guys, what's up? It's Joel Pitt here, back with another video, and I'm here with another review video. This time I will be reviewing the best and worst songs of 2017. Now, I did a previous video before this one, and that was reviewing the best and worst movies of 2017. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out right now. It's top notch. Um, not leaving the link down below, but, you know, just... Go onto my channel and check it out now. But I've not got any honourable and dishonourable mentions this time, in uh, song-wise. But I have got some artists that I partic particularly liked and all and didn't. So I'm going to start off with the bad ones first. I've got five ones here. Some of the artists like Liam Payne, Niall Horan and other rap ones, I kind of didn't like. Some I did, others I didn't and all. But in at number five is I'm the One, which is DJ Khaled, Justin Bieber and all that. The reason, it just repeats itself really. The music video is inappropriate, not the kind of thing you, you want to see. And it's, it's just not one you really remember. Like, when you're thinking of songs, some people don't really think of it that much like it was good for a bit and then it just died down which was very disappointing in at number four same kind of thing really boys by charlie xcx that was popular for a bit then it just died down i've not seen the music video but it it's just not a good music beat and all it, and it just repeats itself as well another another bad one talking of a bad one it starts with bad it's bad and bougie me ghost now some of you would argue with that and say oh that that's a good hit but it was for a bit but i still don't think it is and it's just not good and i know they use it sometimes but i just just don't don't agree another one by an artist who kind of has has some new tracks recently Taylor Swift with Gorgeous. I just I prefer the other one, like Look What You Made Me Do or The Ready For It, Are You Ready For It and all. But then some of the previous ones before that, the older ones, I prefer even more than them. So that's number two. And another one that I do not like, in at number one, is one my mum and my family and some of my friends don't like, and that's Bedroom Floor by Liam Payne. Now, I did do another one, strip that down. I didn't really like that one as well. For a bit, I did, but then I still don't didn't like it. But that is the five worst songs of 2017, in my opinion. But let's move on to the best songs of 2017. Some suggestions for artists that I really like, like Ed Sheeran, done lots of amazing songs with his new album, and nearly like nine of them got in the top ten, which is amazing. Sam Smith, you know, he's done some recent ones. French Montana, MK was 17, Cool Beat and all, but sadly, I don't think that's in my number five. And then Stormzy with, Stormzy with Blinded by Your Grace, part two i think it was called yes but in at number five castle on the hill ed Sheeran. it's got that good beat at the start and you know when they first did it it was the lyrics and then they suggested oh let's have a video in it and the video is absolutely spectacular definitely re recommend you to listen to it with the video and all also another thing about it it's just very good catchy lyrics and all and it get gets you on your feet and all symphony is at number four clean bandit and zara larson and another good beat song and recognizable and lyrics are just, just amazing and all another one which has been out for quite a bit something just like this cold play i can't i've not seen the music video but it's just amazing song that. Another one by Ed Sheeran that I believe is a good one. Perfect. And that, I think that was a Christmas number one as well. So surely people enjoy it. 
and it's just one that it's, it's like a slow one as well. I don't like the Beyonce version though. I do not like Beyonce version. The normal version is better at just Ed Sheeran. And it's just a slow one. And it's a calming one. And then uh, in at number one is Anywhere by Rita Ora. Uh, another good beat song. All that. It, you know. And the other one. Your song. Or something, yeah, and I know she did another one, but I kind of like anywhere better. But that is all for this review of the songs, best and worst. But I am going to talk about some things that have happened within 2017. So, in June, I believe, yes, I passed my theory test. In August, I passed my driving test. Absolutely amazed by that. I think it has, yeah. Rain as well. Not a good not a good sign for tonight and all. But yeah, I have work experience in March. I met Tony Morris, the news presenter. I did some plays, I did the back eye and legally blonde in December, the back eye in March. Went to Lords in April. Recently got a new job. Absolutely amazing. Started editing videos using iMovie in August, I think, yes. Started the Game Addicts with Ed Addicts with Alex and Luke in February. Done some new games and new types of videos over the years. Turned 18 in November. Went to new places around Manchester and all. Met new people, made new friends. Finished my first year of college, entering my second year. Been an academic ambassador for travel and tourism. Environmental rep. Got 250 plus subs on YouTube and I've had one year on YouTube. Absolutely amazing year it's been. I can't wait for what 2018 brings. And I don't know. Well, I definitely will do a video for 2018 tomorrow. And hopefully I can just upload this this video in time before, you know, it, it's it's midnight and all not sure what i'm going to be doing tonight but who knows but anyway thank you very much for watching this video hope you enjoyed it i hope you have an absolutely amazing time whatever you're doing tonight enjoy yourself and happy new year for 2018 you know and i will see you in the next video